did you never even think about getting into crime or like claiming the gang or anything like that? Was that nah, never even just, something you were interested in? I was just me. Mm. I was just me. Like, cause I don't know, since I was little, I was never like a follower. Like I preach like, like be yourself. Like I, I like when I was young, I like nobody told me like be yourself or nothing. Like I didn't really have no influence, no guidance. Well, gangbangers. Your parents? Uh my mom she was at work. Right. Your dad wasn't around? No. Nah. But you still had a really solid sense of self. Yeah, I, I think it was just like the chosen one. Hmm. You felt that way since you were young? Do you relate to Kanye? Because I yeah, I fuck with Kanye. Because he has that energy. It just feels like his parents were like really, really nice to him and really told him he could do whatever he wanted. Oh, nah, nah. You're not that off nah, over the top of it. Nah. <laughs> Low key, I like, cause I, and like I, people, like a lot of people don't know, I'm the only kid too. So it was just me being me. Like mm. I ain't had nobody to like look up to and like, oh, this is what you supposed to do. I mean, I got family members, but like, I mean, like I got a lot of cousins and shit, but like, most of the time, it was just me and the homies. Mm. But, I mean, it takes a lot of confidence to not get wrapped up in that shit when you are from Compton. And like, but look, that's I, so look, much of what's in look, the media and shit. You really got to understand when I say I'm him. Mm. Niggas wasn't him before they was rap or had a little fame. Right. Why you think when niggas get... Like, if you look at a nigga... Go all the way to the bottom of his Instagram if he ain't never deleted nothing. Niggas was squares and weirdos. Mm. And then you go to the top now, nigga, doing all that weird you shit. You delete shit from your Instagram? I never deleted nothing. Really? Go all the way to the bottom. Damn, I deleted shit now. I feel guilty. Adam wasn't him. <laughs> nah, I was all right. <laughs> I just like, you know, sometimes you look back at all this shit and you're like, damn, I don't want... That because especially if you don't post that much, I guess now I have like hundreds and hundreds nah, of posts. But see, for a long I time, always, I didn't have that many. And look, posts. that's the thing you can identify with. Like a lot of people be asking me shit. Like if you you will really learn a lot about me and like my influence if you go all the way to the bottom of the end. You're gonna be 2012, 2013. You're gonna be like, damn, this nigga been doing this. He been doing that, and people just now doing it. Like. Mm. But it's not like nothing to be like blew up or talk about because it's like I've been like I've been that. Mm. That's real. Did you like as a kid? Oh, yeah. One one question. This is actually a question that TK suggested or it might have been Picasso. They said, ask them the difference between Los Angeles and Compton. Is Compton really that different? For sure. Like I say. Comp like L.A. bigger than Compton, so I don't know. Like people think Compton is like bad as fuck, but like me, like being from and like I don't know, like me seeing both sides and like basically living on both sides, cause like every like not every summer, but like for like a couple summers when I was in middle school, I had a best friend. Like it was like one of my closest homies. His name Glenn uh, was people probably know him as like C Star. He from forty. He from forty crib. Okay. So I used to go stay at bro house. So that's when I started really seeing L.A. like all. The, and you know how like say, I'm gonna give you an example. Say I'm from Compton. So all the bitches that everybody not from Compton like liking this shit and thinking they bad. Like I'm like, nigga, them the homegirls. I don't like them. I'm used to seeing them. Mm. So when I was going to L.A., I'm like, damn, nigga, the bitches is in L.A. Mm. Like they, I was seeing like new. I wasn't new to LA, but like being over there every day is like a different experience. I feel like LA is way more grimier than Compton for really? sure. I mean, I always hear that Compton really was one of the craziest parts of LA or the craziest part of LA no, around Compton, that Compton NWA is, era, Compton and then it's gotten greasy. a lot better since. No, probably Compton is greasy, but I feel like since LA bigger, it's more bullshitters. Uh, that's fair. But is Compton like its own like isolated world in a way where you just didn't feel like you had to leave as a kid? No, nah, for no, nah, oh yeah, pro, yeah, like for sure. Like you could for sure get lost in the sauce, like mm. just feel comfortable. Like even if you doing your, even if you uh, getting it in, like even if you working hard, making your money, you still could get lost in the sauce. Like I still live in Compton. Really. Yeah. Do you feel like you want to get out of there? You want to? People always do the same I thing. I mean, it's they, not a want. It's just a matter of time. Like I'm for sure gonna leave. <laughs> people but. always go from like Compton or Watts to like downtown LA, and they get the studio apartment. Yeah, I feel you. That's the move, right? Yeah. 
Nah. And you got all the homeless people like downtown, it, but at least you ain't in the hood anymore. Like, I don't know if you've seen that video where it's like one NBA young boy video when Meek Mills, he was in like a Maybach and Meek, he was on the FaceTime with Meek Mills yeah. and he was like, you got to get out your city or they like, you're going to die. They're going to kill you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying nobody trying to kill me, but it's for sure like, like niggas be on bullshit. You but, got shit that they want and you know what niggas on. But you feel like you're putting positivity out there into the for world. Sure. See, that's what I be trying to tell people. It's the energy you put out, like. For sure. But at the same time, if you're successful in LA, eventually somebody's going to hate you for it, right? Pretty much. <laughs> but that's anywhere, though. I wouldn't just say LA, though. That's just period. And at the end of the day, you're not out here claiming something, but you might be around somebody who's claiming something, no, and somebody see, might not exactly. like you because you're and standing too of, close to this It's dude, a lot right? of, bro, I'm telling you, it's a lot of dumb niggas mm. that do shit like, for clout, for sure. For sure. Mm. And you might be the dude who's moving around, chilling. Because and you somebody, feel like it's all good, and then somebody wants somebody to get revenge for that, something that somebody, yeah, somebody your crazy bring homie that energy did, right? to you. Yeah, for sure. That's that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I look forward to you moving out, of Compton. That'll be a big day. We can have a little party and shit. You be drinking? Sure, if you're drinking. I ain't really been drinking, but I'll drink. You gotta take a shot on the podcast. Let's go. Where is it? What a shot at? What a shot at? No cap. I just finished drinking coffee. Normally, I feel like I have no a, a significant break between the coffee part of my day and and the drinking part of my day. But hey, fuck it. Adam Deuce Deuce. It's no more Adam Twenty Two. Adam Deuce Deuce. Spice Deuce, Deuce life in up. the bubble goose. Huh? Biggie said that. I mean. Oh, that's kind of freaky. I ain't hey, got Biggie, no I fuck with I fuck with Biggie because Biggie will say some shit that he don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. Right. The nigga said, you so fine, I'll suck your daddy dick. But the thing is, I was reading something that said that that was a popular line in a movie at that time. Like, there, it was a joke from a movie, so people kind of got it at the time. Like, they didn't take it as... Because it I really mean, is probably one of the gayest lyrics get, of yeah, all but time. I get right? it, though. He not about that. Give no, give a bitch pops no bop, but you feel me? I get what he's saying. Like, bitch, look good. Like, I ain't seen nobody like you. It's it's so obviously That's just going exaggerated. To the extreme of how good you look, you know? It's like the same way you see a bad bitch. You say, man, I eat her shit. Exactly. I ain't People just shit. hella homophobic. Look, I'm gonna spit some bars. Look, look what I say. I said, I said, what I say. Look, I said, damn. Oh, I said, checks. Like, Nike, I need those. Bitches gonna be the death of me. I hate them. Fuck you. I don't fuck with nobody. I'm racist. But when it come to Benjamin Franklin, I'm gay. No homo. That nigga put a smile on my face. Hey, my bars made you feel uncomfortable. It's straight. I'm straight. I can look myself in the face. Bitch, I'm a trophy, but I never won a race. Hold on. That was good. See, look, that's what I'm saying. If you know who you are as a person, bro, niggas know what's up. And, and there's a certain When it thing. come to Benjamin Franklin, I'm gay. Take it how you want. That nigga put a smile on my face. Take it how you want. You, you want to know one of the best examples of that? It's what? Draco. For sure. Dick hanging out in public. I'm, I'm a, a pedophile. pedophile. <laughs> come on, bro. bro nigga know what's going on. That's the shit I ever heard. They can know what's going on. But it's like, if you can say something that's the most wildest shit and make it sound hard, And then you look, win. it's only a select few niggas that's saying shit like that. Mm-hmm. And most of them that I know is from L.A. It is what it is. And then niggas, <laughs> niggas just low-key just see Draco music as like lean music or like just... I don't know, but if you really listen, bro, bro really got bars. It's okay? a crime that he's locked up. No, for sure. He energized the fucking city, to be honest, because Bro there's really so many people that are popping right now who would be lying if they said that they didn't take some inspiration from Draco. Sure. Do you feel like you were influenced by him to a certain extent? Uh, I wouldn't say influenced because I don't even rap about shooting people or guns. <laughs> but or I feel like the flow like itself is very like, influential, you know? Um, nah, because I rap fast. Mm. Draco like a more mellow, slower, slowed down type of vibe. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, I didn't even take it like a shot. I only did half of it. If if I was to compare, because I said, like I said earlier, I'm a fan of rap. So when people say shit like that, like, oh, he trying to sound like such and such or such and such, like, I really don't give a fuck because that means you still listening to my shit though. Mm. So, if, but if anything, like, influence is like jerking error and like probably like Bay Area. Like, I mm. listen to a hella Bay Area artist for sure. That's the crazy but like, part. I don't, like, I ain't never like just. For sure, try to sound like a nigga for sure. Right. But. but that's what's kind of crazy is that so much of the shit that is coming out of L.A. right now, it has a clear 
influence from a lot of underground Bay Area shit. For sure. And so people will say to you, you sound like Blueface, but they don't understand that there's a whole waves and waves of different artists who are kind of influenced probably, by a lot of different like stuff the, out that's here. That's probably like the most. That's probably like the most thing. Like that you would hear the most is I'm trying to sound like Blueface, but how I'm gonna try to sound like a nigga that I was rapping before? But mm-hmm. like, like the fans are trying to get us into it. But like, or or they be in my comments like Blueface Deuce or Red Face Baby. But and my like my little fans are being his comments like you trying to be like one take J, but not even knowing that we really cool like mm. like we been cool before he blew up before I blew up. But then I don't get how I can try to sound like somebody. When you can, all I say, I don't respond to shit like that because it's not important. People mm-hmm. still gonna fuck with me. People still gonna fuck with him. But if you really want to do that, go do your research. Right. We both got SoundClouds. That's where we first started putting out music at. I got songs from two, three years ago when I've been rapping how I'm rapping now. So I feel like I can never sound like nobody else. Like mm-hmm. that's not even a thing to me. Like that's like right. bro doing his shit, I'm doing my shit. Like that's not even a thing. Like. Mm. For sure. How'd you tap in with Mustard? Uh, kind of like, like even before we ever did a song, it it wasn't a tap in. Like I've been like, like we've been like, you've been known him socially. Yeah, like, or like even if we wasn't like just big chopping it up, like we both like it, like on Instagram, we like been like DMing or like shit like that. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't no like just. I need you on my project or can I get on your project? It was just like natural. Like, and we even, we been made music before, like even before that came up. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Probably like nigga, like a, a year and a half ago before that. How'd you tap in with R. Baron? Uh, just from fucking around with Shoreline and being hot in LA. Yeah. And like, I was like the type of nigga, like, like I told you, I was just, I'm hella unorthodox. So nigga, I'm making a song. I'm just putting it out. Right. But like my shit was doing hella numbers. And like the main thing with me was like uh like my shit could really be way bigger right now. Uh but I ne- like I'm literally really just getting my YouTube numbers up. Like I mean I got millions and shit, but that's like on the songs that's like hits. But right. I never had like like when my songs was blowing up, I was never shooting videos. I was just making songs and putting them out. Like right. I didn't really give a fuck. Yeah, like hello, you waited a while to put that exactly. video on and shit, right? If you like that, you can go watch the full video. I'm One Take J, and thank you for watching. Go like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me at the number one T A K E J A Y.